What's up growers? It's Dan with Green Envy Supply and we're at GrowX. I'm here talking to Ronnie with Rosin Industries. Uh, they have rosin presses here that's solventless extraction. Uh, I know one specific thing about these is that you guys don't need an air compressor. Right. We offer two models without one and then we also offer one with you one. You do have one with yeah. one? Yeah. Okay, do you mind running me down? Uh, sure. This is our this is our X5 model. This is two tons of pressure. This is fully electric, uh, plug and play. You don't need any experience to operate it. It goes up and down all of, on its own. And then we have our X20. This is our 20 ton rosin press. This is going to be a, a 9 by 2 plate. It's fully hydraulic. You can also get it pneumatic. You hook it up to a compressor. Gotcha. Yeah, and then we also have the uh, X10 down there, and that's fully pneumatic. It gets hooked up to compressor gotcha. as well. But this one, so, so this 20 ton right here, you can use the, the hand press, the manual press. Yeah, right it comes standard up. hydraulic, and then also you can convert it to pneumatic. Awesome. All right. Dude, I love the machines. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the plate sizes? Yeah, this is our 4x6 plate. Um, this is the standard for our X10 and our X5, and then we have a 9x2 for our X20. And the 9x2 is uh, utilizing the heat and the length, but also it's uh, allowing you to get your material and your oil off the plate quicker after you're pressing it down, and that uh, preserves the terpene flavors and uh, the terpenes in your product. What kind of return can customers look for uh, percentage-wise yeah, of like flour in and, and oil out? Yeah, with rosin, it's uh, what you put in is what you get back out. Okay. So if you're starting with top shelf, you're going to get some nice top shelf back. You're going to see your higher returns with top shelf stuff. Okay. So um, you're looking from anywhere between 12% to almost 30 to 33% okay. with the higher stuff. Gotcha. Yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty good. Really nice. What, what's, what, what would you shoot for for the growers out there? What's, what's, what's like that, that number that growers love to see from just flour? Not, you know, like I know if you, do, it, if you press like dry sip, you're like, oh, you're your numbers are going like up. 60, 70%. Yeah. Like for like a, a straight flour press. I'd be going for like 20, 25% is a good return any day off some nug. Awesome. Yeah. What's like a good temperature range? Um, I usually start at like 160 and go up, but also it's with every material is different and it reacts different to the heat and pressure. So you kind of got to do a test squish and go from there. Test squish. Yeah. There you go. Um, and you guys have bags. Yeah, we, we offer nylon bags, and then we also um, offer stainless steel bags for our uh, X20. Oh, I haven't seen those. Yeah, these are stainless steel, so it's going to utilize the heat, uh, and uh, it's going to do the re heat retention all the way through the bag, as opposed to nylon, it just stops between the two plates. So you're going to be able to move your oils and your product faster and easier and quicker than, let's say, with the nylon. Uh, that's the first time I've seen these. And you can pack up to 14 grams of dry sift in these. Awesome. Yeah. And we're also coming out with nylon bags as well for the same length for the 9x2. They'll be 9x1 nylon bags. Awesome. Well, sweet, man. Uh, I love the products. Uh, growers, if you guys want to check out the, the lineup, make sure to check out GreenHeavySupply.com. Ronnie, I appreciate you talking to me. Absolutely. Yeah. Growers, thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure to stay in touch. Check us out at GreenHeavySupply.com. I'll talk to you soon.